Allsop Tun gives Hampshire upper hand at Edgbaston. Warwickshire began the round propping up the division, having lost their opening game convincingly. They looked to bounce back with a win against a Hampshire side that won the South Group of the Royal London One Day Cup with room to spare. Hampshire got off to a flyer after opting to bat, with Weatherly finding the boundary from the first ball of the day. Before the Warwickshire bowlers fought back with three successive maidens. And Hannon Dolby made the breakthrough when he beat Weatherly's inside edge to trap him LBW as the Warwickshire bowler conceded just one run in his first five overs. And Warwickshire captain Jitan Patel brought himself into the attack and struck with just his second ball when Soames feathered through to Ambrose. North East and Allsop looked to rebuild, with Allsop finding the boundary twice from a Brooks over. And their partnership was worth 48 when lunch arrived. The 50 stand was brought up soon after the interval when Allsop found the cover boundary off Hannon Dalby. And Allsop reached his own 50 in style, driving Patel back over his head for his ninth four. Just as things were beginning to look ominous for Warwickshire, Hannon Dalby hit back with the wicket of North East as he got one to straighten and trap the Hampshire skipper in front. Russo fell soon after for a nine ball duck when he tried to lift Patel over mid off but failed to beat the man in the deep. The onus was now on Tom Allsop to bat his team into a strong position. And the game looked finely balanced at the tee interval with the visitors 165 for four, but crucially with Allsop just 13 runs from his century. Hannon Dolby continued his excellent day when Dawson drove him to point soon after the break. That brought an Aaron Donald to the wicket and he immediately set about the bowling like he was still playing one day cricket, smashing four boundaries from one miles over to move to 32 from 22 balls. And in the next over, Allsop reached his century with a one bounce four over mid off off the bowling of Patel. Before Donald clubbed three boundaries in a row off Patel to move within touching distance of a rapid 50. A six and a four in an over off both Brooks and Hannon Dolby took Donald to 75 off just 56 balls. But he fell after one expansive shot too many when he steered Hannon Dolby to banks in the gully to bring the fun to an end. Allsop was able to survive until the close with 131 to his name, a superb innings by the Hampshire keeper. But the Warwickshire bowlers led by Oliver Hannon Dolby stuck to their task well to make sure they remained in the game.